Hello, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And we have a wild one for you tonight. And I'm excited about it. You know, the guitar players who have shaped the way we think about guitar, the way we listen to guitar, the way we play guitar, they all had some secret sauce, some unconventional secret sauce things that they did with their gear. Think about Angus Young with the compressor in the wireless unit that he used, or Eddie Van Halen with the Variac. And chief among them was Mr. Richie Blackmore. Richie Blackmore absolutely used some unconventional secret sauce tools to sculpt the sound that we all know, the huge Richie Blackmore sound. And none of the things that he used are available anymore and if you find them, I doubt they're working. So Catlin Bread has taken some of those tools and put them into pedal format, and it will be available at first in this limited edition box set. And inside of this box set, we have the skewer and the dream coat. We're going to talk about three of the tools that Richie Blackmore used to create uh, and to sculpt his sound. One of which was a passive inductor based EQ circuit that was built right into his guitar. And this enabled him to hit a lot of those nice pinch harmonics really, really well. And wouldn't you know it, that is included in the dream coat. Another trick that Richie employed was using an Iowa reel to reel deck, plugging into the mic input and using the preamp from the Iowa tape deck running straight into his Marshall Major. And wouldn't you know it, that is also in the dream coat. One thing that is actually fairly well known about Richie Blackmore is that he used a treble booster. He used a Hornby Skew Silicon based treble booster because at that time, when you turned those old amps up all the way, they got really, really dark and I imagine a 200 watt Marshall Major got extremely dark and he needed something to cut through that, cut through the mud. And so he used a treble booster, a Hornby Skews treble booster. And that, my friends, is the skewer. So will these tools make you play like Richie Blackmore? No. Will these tools make you sound like Richie Blackmore? Not unless you have a 200 watt Marshall Major and a witch's hat. Can you now use the same tools that Richie Blackmore used to sculpt his sound to sculpt your own new and original sounds with your favorite amp, your favorite guitar, and your fingers? Yes. And that is what we're gonna do tonight with these two pedals from Catalan Bread. At first, I'm gonna run them down on a mix here. I'm gonna run them on all the guitar tracks, and then come on back here and we will run through both of these all by their lonesome.
two, two pedals to get to tonight. So uh, we should probably get moving. And uh, I am running a Scythe Guitars OH19. And <laughs> my 2203, I tried it out. It is apparently out of commission uh, right now, which, you know, couldn't have picked a better time to crap out on me. But then I thought about it some more and I thought, I, I'm going to stop trying to sound like Richie Blackmore and I am going to sound like me and use Richie Blackmore's tools to enhance the way I sound. So I'm going to use the amp I usually use. So I'm using the Benson Amps Monarch Reverb. And uh, it sounds like this. This is typically where I go over all of the controls on the pedals. We're not going to do that. We're going to take them about two at a time. We are going to start with the dream coat. And the first section that we are going to talk about is the frequency right here and the blend. So the frequency, before you even play this pedal, you will open up the inside of the pedal and you will set the frequency that you want to boost. Uh, Catlin Brad recommended the five kilohertz uh, for a Strat. So that is what I chose. And with this frequency uh, knob, a little bit goes a long way. And then you blend that with your original signal here. So let's uh, let's just kick it up a little bit and kick up the blend a little bit and see how that sounds. So frequency and blend basically cover the onboard EQ that uh, Richie had built into his guitar. Now, the second part of that equation is the Iowa tape deck. And those are controlled with the mic volume and the saturation or sat. And sat controls the amount of feedback in the first stage of the Iowa unit. And you can think of it as like a gain range control. And then the mic volume is the original distortion control from the Iowa um, deck. And it is the total distortion for the pedal. And again, with these, you can go from um, something very traditional to something very sputtery and very cool, but in a more avant-garde fashion. So let's, uh, let's play with those knobs a little bit.
So the other pedal, the skewer, the skewer is based off of the Hornby Skews silicon treble booster, uh, and Catlin Bread has stayed pretty darn true to that circuit with uh, some added uh, tricks for the modern player. And one of those tricks is that you can run uh, the frequency range all the way up to a full boost. And then you can also run it at the very narrow treble boost. And that's done there. There's also extra. And extra adjusts the level of gain extracted from the transistor. Um, this is a brand new thing and was not included on the original Hornby SKUs uh, treble booster. So I'm going to run through down a couple of different scenarios with this. One, we'll just run it straight into that amplifier and get a couple of sounds. <laughs> into the amplifier one of the things that i actually really like to do and i'm going to do it now is i am going to click on the epoch boost from catlin bread and we'll run that between the skewer and the amplifier <laughs> All right, so the magic is when you run the skewer into the dream coat. That is where this gets awesome. So let's start with the skewer. <laughs> One other thing that I want to show you before we call this thing done is uh, I just want to call some attention to this artwork because these two come together to make one large picture, and I just realized it. Um, take this, and then you take it away. It is the same thing. So that's awesome. The artwork works together. That's very cool. That just shows some attention to detail from our friends at Catlin Bread. Um, this is a great, great combination. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, these two will be available in this limited edition box set right away and actually at a discount. And then um, after that, they will be available individually on the site at full price. But if you are a collector, if you're a Blackmore fanatic, if you are just like having awesome things, then uh, I would jump on getting that special edition box set because it's 
rad. And to you, thank you for your time. Bye.